on the vlog again. Just can't wait to do a vlog again. The life I love is making vlogs for my friends. And I can't wait to do a vlog again. Doing a vlog again. Going places that I've never been. Seeing things that I may never see again. And I can't wait. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Top Vloggers. As always, I am your host, Hi and Mighty Joe, hanging out with your co-host, the lovely cat. And we are headed to the Rowan Covered Bridge Festival. It should be fun and exciting. You can join us on all of our social media websites, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at the Top Vloggers. Also, if you'd like to help us reach the top, you can do so by going to www.patreon.com backslash the top vloggers. Without your help and support, these vlogs will be almost impossible to do. There will be a link in the description below. And if you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, take it one step further, and ring the notification bell to keep you up to date on all the future adventures that we will be going on on this channel. So let's get going. Today's vlog brings us to Rowan, Indiana. Welcome to Historic Rowan, listed on the National Registry of Historical Places. Well, one of the first things that we come across uh, are the uh, bathrooms. So if you happen to be out here at the Rowan Covered Bridge Festival and you need to use the restroom, they have them available. And I they have some handmade bit, jewelry and here. <laughs> now this is the Indiana Cover Bridge Society's booth. And as you can see, they have all kinds of stuff. Absolutely. This is, this is next year's calendar. This is this year's calendar at a discount. Okay. Well, there you and go. These are free. If you just like covered bridge pictures, these are great. There you go. Yeah. So if you get a chance to be out here at the Covered Bridge Festival, don't forget to stop by. Yeah. And we've got Rowan postcards, Rowan magnets, all kinds of things with the Rowan Covered Bridge. There you go. Thank you. If you're looking for a place to eat, apparently this is the place to get it. The line is pretty long. The Blooming Onion. Boy, that does sound good. I really wish you guys could be here at this festival just to smell how great this, the, all the foods are. As you can see, you got the elephant ears over there to the left. You got some hot dogs and corn dogs and Polish sausages and caramel apples and things like to the right. Oh, lemon, lemon and lime shakeups. Oh, and if you're looking to get a, a wig, apparently this is the place to do it at. Or maybe just a ponytail. Yeah, just hair pieces. Just hair pieces. Just make the ponytail look longer. There you go. If you need to get your face painted, this is the place to do it. Right here. And this is the Round Barn Creamery. Uh, as you can see, they have different types of ice cream. And, uh, oh boy, I bet it's good. It is closed right now, but if you get a chance to be out here, don't forget to stop by and get you some homemade ice cream right here at the Round Barn Creamery. Over here are some games to play. So if you need a new goldfish, this would be the place to get it, right here. And right over here, as you can see, they are offering pony rides. I think I'm a little too big for a pony. Thought maybe we would take a stop in here, check out all the cool hats that they got. Only five dollars. We have dresses and pants. For the ladies, they also have shorts and capris. They have all kinds of different things. 
So if you happen to be here at the Rolling and Cover Bridge Festival, uh, this could be the place for you. They Looks like they have guitars over there, miniature guitars, all kinds of different things. Thought we'd take a stroll through the cars. Take a gander at that one. Isn't that one a beauty? Now that is a truck that stands out. I'll give you that. Good, yourself? There's another beautiful car. And then you can see some of the other cars that they have here as well. They got all kinds of beautiful cars here. That's a beautiful car. Small, that's for sure. Oh, gotta love the Bel Air. Oh, it's a beauty. Another beautiful car. This beautiful car is for sale. So if you need to get you a Chevy Nova, there's one for sale right here. Got some other beautiful cars over here. Oh, check this one out. This one's beautiful. Man, I love this. Take a gander at that. All decked out on the inside. That is beautiful. See, there goes that old Bonnie and Clyde style car. On the way back, we take a gander at this one sitting here next to us. Wow, look at the interior on that one. Isn't that something? A very beautiful car. Oh, there's a very beautiful truck. Definitely old. Gotta love the style of that. They just don't make them like they used to. As you can see, I think this gentleman's been working on his car just a, just a tad too long. Isn't that right, sir? Yeah, it just keeps on working. Now, the last time we were here, this was closed. So, we are going to go ahead and walk around to the other side and go on in. All right, so we're going to take a step inside, and this is what the inside of this cart looks like. This is, I don't know exactly if that was what it looks like back then, or, or what, but, yeah, a little, there we end. They're, show, they're showing... Got some other pictures of, I assume them moving it here and getting it all put together. And here it tells you a little bit about it. The 
Auburn and Eel River Valley Railroad and its succession successors. Sorry. And there you go. There's the print of it. If you need to get your t-shirts or sweaters, this would be uh, the place to do it at. They have it all. If you want to get some caramel corn, pork rinds, or regular kettle corn, uh, salted and buttered, they got it all right here. On our way back, the ice cream place was open. Here's the Baker's Trading Post. And I see something that Cat would like right here. Yes, I do. Well, thank you so much for coming on this vlog. I hope you guys had a wonderful time. Uh, it did start to rain at the very beginning, but uh, the rain kind of lightened up and uh, the festival turned out to not be too shabby after all. It was a really good festival after the rain stopped. Rain does kind of put a damper on everything. And I think that's going to do it for us here today. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment this video. And as always, we'll see you again tomorrow. Top Vloggers!